Now to presidential politics. Some crucial endorsements that have given a big boost to the struggling campaign of John McCain. The biggest newspapers in New Hampshire and Iowa and his fellow Senator Joe Lieberman have all lined up behind McCain, giving him a new burst of energy on the trail. The story from NBC's Kelly O'Donnell. Look who's back after a political near-death experience. Arizona Republican John McCain, a self-described straight talker who makes cranky seem cordial before an interview. You're still getting the feedback, you jerks. And even before an audience. You look kind of dorky in that hat today. <laughs> With a bundle of unexpected endorsements, laughing comes easier. <laughs> Almost a no-show in Iowa. But in New Hampshire, McCain is drawing crowds again and counting on the state's independent streak. My path to victory is to, is to do very well here in New Hampshire. We really need to win, uh, and then that will give us a bounce. Talk of any bounce seemed impossible after McCain's meltdown last summer. His campaign blew through $25 million with little to show for it. Trying to be the establishment candidate, trying to be the front runner, it just wasn't natural for him. It wasn't comfortable for him, and I think the voters sensed it. McCain stuck with some unpopular views, like his early support for the troop surge in Iraq. I've been involved in every major national security issue for the last 20 years. And I think it's great to have been a governor or a mayor or, or anything else. But I can tell you that I have the experience and judgment. But McCain still needs more money to really compete. His biggest advantage now is the muddled Republican field. No clear leader means McCain gets another shot to revive his chances. Kelly O'Donnell, NBC News, the Capitol.